The Army veteran accused of jumping a fence and getting into the White House last month is scheduled to appear in court today. And this all comes as we learn of yet another security incident during President Obama's recent trip to Atlanta. ABC's Karen Travers has the latest developments. This morning, the first call for Secret Service Director Julia Pearson to step down. An incident in Atlanta on September 16th was apparently the final straw for Maryland Democrat Elijah Cummings. President Obama was visiting the CDC headquarters that day. In an elevator there, he encountered a security guard who sources say began to act unprofessionally, taking photos. The Secret Service decided to do a background check and discovered the man had a criminal record or at least was charged with a crime before. Such a person would not have been allowed to be that close to the president, especially because this man in Atlanta allegedly had a gun. It's just the latest in a growing list of scandals for the Secret Service. The protocol's not right, the training's inadequate, and there's no confidence in the, in the leadership. Yesterday, angry lawmakers blasted the Secret Service for how it handled what's now turning out to be a far more serious security security breach at the White House. Omar Gonzalez, a 42-year-old homeless Iraq veteran, made it all the way into the East Room before he was neutralized by an off-duty agent who just happened to be there. This is disgraceful. This is absolutely disgraceful. I believe that you have done a disservice to the President of the United States. There was even ridicule for the vaunted agency, with critics suggesting the Secret Service hire a home security system. Have you ever heard of these guys? Omar Gonzalez was indicted yesterday on federal and local charges. He's in court today. Karen Travers, ABC News, Washington.